Welcome back. As I said, I was going to answer the question that was put to me, and that was, if I understand the question correctly, would I care to have my children taught by a homosexual? Right. Mm -hmm. I, can, I have two little girls, they're ages 8 and 10, they go to public school, and they know about homosexuality, they know about abortion, they know about a lot of things, and the reason they know about it is because I want to know that they have an understanding of these things before they learn it from their friends or others. I have a number of homosexual friends, and these people have really, I think, enhanced their understanding of sexuality as a whole. So my answer to you is yes, I would. I want my children to know that there's more out there in the world than just the norm. There are many sides to the spectrum of that norm that I consider to be normal, not deviant, normal. And so that's my answer. Okay. Right now, and after Proposition passes, 6 passes in November, you can teach about murder, rape, adultery, all of these things, but if you advocate homosexuality, you can be fired, okay? You cannot advocate r murder, rape, or any of these things now. But wait a minute, Lee. What does advocate mean here? I mean, I think that's an important word, because by advocate, I think here is meant just openly displaying the fact that the person is a homosexual, or saying, like this person, Larry, that he is a homosexual. That's advocating right there. That, in my term, is not an advocating position. Okay, the, the bill states if you advocate homosexuality or are public with your lifestyle to the point that it will come to the attention of children, advocate even on the weekends, then you may be fired. And if you advocate adultery, already you can be fired. Don't you think this is going to lead to some witch hunts? Because not only does the bill say that, it also says that any teacher who defends or openly advocates, advocates. The, the homosexual lifestyle that person may not be homosexual themselves, but may have a friend who is and comes to their defense. That person, too, may be dismissed without the benefit of the union coming in and defending that person. So you're overriding even the labor contracts. No, uh, okay, Juana, when, uh, when a person advocates homosexuality, if you have a friend who is a homosexual and you're a teacher and you say, this is my friend and I think his la lifestyle is okay and I think you ought to try it, then that, if a charge is made and comes to the attention of the school board, they must determine with a hearing within 15 days whether that's of a continuing and threatening nature to children. And school boards statewide have that right and responsibility now with all other things You still other didn't answer the other question, though. They the still question. don't have the benefit of a union coming in and defending that Absolutely person. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. So you are overriding some very important yes, labor contract there. We have overridden the union contract with this bill because for 100 years before 1975, this, this was already law. See, we've already overridden labor contracts because we can, we can fire a person that rapes, murders, has, has an affair. We can already fire these people. So okay. we're not taking away no, rights. No, I, I hear what you're saying. What you want to do is make a new law. You want to override no, the No, we want to give the people of California the right to vote whether they want to restore the old law. We're not making a new law. You know, we want to restore the old law. It's really interesting to me because before Briggs came out with this initiative, I would say that most school children did not know about homosexuality. But because of Briggs, I think that he has done exactly what he didn't want to do. I mean, I think almost every school child now knows what a homosexual is. I think it's healthy. But wh how do you feel about that? Have your children asked you what's a homosexual and what have you told them? I have told my children what a homosexual was long before this thing ever came up. And what did you tell them? That's immaterial. You know, what, what we're here to do is I mean, discuss how, no, it's not Proposition 6. Because I want to see what you see as a homosexual. What do you explain to a child who's asking you any sex question? What do you say to them when they say, Mommy, what's a homosexual? Okay. A homosexual's lifestyle is a sinner's lifestyle. And we're all sinners, and we've either asked for forgiveness or we haven't. A, a homosexual's lifestyle is an abomination to God, for instance. Do they understand sinner? Do they understand abomination? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. What do you say when they ask you? What is an abomination? They, no, they understand this. They have, been, they have been shown biblically that homosexuality is wrong and that people that t turn to homosexuality have turned to this where, for six reasons. Where in the Bible does it say that homosexuality okay. is sinful and an abomination? Second Corinthians 6, 9, and 10. Uh, Romans 1, 21 to 25. It's... It says that the people denied God and 
God turned them over to their own lusts, man working with man and woman working with wo woman, which is an abomination to the Lord. Those are just two scriptures. I've got about 40 scriptures. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want to get into the whole Bible scene because I don't know the Bible that well. And I know that it can be misinterpreted. I mean, or interpreted. But it's not misinterpreted. There's too many scriptures saying that this is wrong. Okay. Each homosexual has the ability to ask Christ for forgiveness and only through Christ are they going to come out of homosexuality. What do you see is wrong, wrong with the homosexual way of life? It's what, what deviant lifestyle. It is one of the sins that you will be condemned to hell for. Now, that's what you believe in terms of your religion. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not. That's not what I believe in terms of a religion. This is what the Bible says, and this is truth. This is fact. Now, we do live in a society that it allows diversity and allows for different beliefs in being incorporated in, in lifestyles, right? Don't you think that this is unconstitutional? What this is saying is, just because I believe in homosexuality and feel that it's not sinful, it's not an abomination, therefore my constitutional rights to the pursuit of happiness and, and the right to live how I would like to live are going to be taken away. No, Juana, not at all. Because right now, in a democratic society, you do not have the right to advocate murder, rape, incense, horse thievery, thievery. You don't have the right now to do that. Homosexuality is not a crime. It was until 1975, and it is a crime in 31 states of the United States. When you say it was until 1975, there were some people that were being pulled in, yes, yeah, simply because the law was unclear. The law allowed for that. The law of 1975 specifically said, this is the way it is now. People who are in private, who are consenting adults, are not committing a crime. You know, it was a crime also to have oral sex. That was a crime as well. Well, I mean, you know, so times change. <laughs> times change, but for the worst. I mean, you know, when people are becoming degenerate in the way they live, that's not, you know, you shouldn't say, you know, hallelujah, they're, uh, it's wonderful that they do these things. It's not wonderful that they do these things. I want to know who has endorsed this so far. I know of three. One, the Nazi Party has endorsed Prop 6. The L.A. Sheriff's Department has endorsed Prop 6. And the ultra-right wing of the Conservative Party, Republican Conservative Party, have endorsed Prop I 6. Have a, I have no knowledge that any of these people have endorsed Prop 6. Who do you know has endorsed it? That isn't a, that isn't a concern of mine. In fact, I've got a list of people who, uh, who have have said they're going to vote no on six. But you know, Juana, everyone has their right now, because this was brought up as a people's initiative, to decide whether they want to vote for morality or they want to vote for a homosexual advocating their lifestyle. If you've See, got a homosexual who's private with his lifestyle, this bill isn't going to touch him. You know, morality is a, a very nebulous term, because what is moral to me is certainly evidently not moral to you, and it's, and it's vice versa. That's why we live in a country that allows for constitutional rights, for your morality and for mine. But they don't allow the right to advocate any of these immoral things. Oh, well, there we go back again. <laughs> okay, Lee, we're almost out of time. Okay. If people want to vote for Proposition 6 and want to support you with money, what is the phone number they can call? Do you know one? Yes, they can call uh, Fortin Office 879, uh, no, they can call area code 707-433-5903 and they will get a hold of me and at that time I'll send them literature or they could, uh, I will send them on to the Fortin Office. Okay, great, Lee. Thanks thank for you, being Anna. with us this morning and thank you.